of Riala. Here's your transformer plugs in here. And then here's all your connections. Here's your, here's your CAD cell. So you're, you're not checking that while it's running, are you? No. So it makes it real tough to try to troubleshoot. So you got the primary control, the transformer, and the CAD cell all in one piece. Wow. And how much is that little puppy? That I don't know. So you carry one on your truck, here's how you troubleshoot it. Take one off your truck. Throw another one in. Yeah. So here's all That's the uh, right. here's all your electrical connections, all your pins, and then they, they go into these pins here. They just plug into it. Is that even a, a standard capacitor you can buy hanging off the side of that motor, or is that some funky new flunker too? It's right it's right below the case. You can't see it from up there. Oh. It's up here. It's right here. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a different kind of capacitor too. So it's probably you can't find anywhere. Not something you can go to the store for. Um, so here's your pump you still. Still got your bleeder valve. And here's your adjustment. Here's your oil nozzle still. Here's your electrodes in here. And then this thing here actually has a, um, um, a gate on it. When it starts up, there's an air shutter that will automatically open up on the thing to give it the air that it needs. And then, like I said, then everything works through here. Here's all the connections and everything that's on the back. Shows you how, how to lock it on and everything. But it makes it, it's, it is pretty tough to uh, troubleshoot. So we're going to be able to fire this one up. Now, would they power. all be the same with those uh, control ones? I primary control? I think so. Well, yeah, how so many? I've, I've never really worked on these. Um, I've only just played with them. But I'm pretty, sh this, I'm pretty sure these are all the same. How many BTUs is this one? I don't know. Uh, is this the solenoid that's like on the other one, but they have it internal to the pump? Yes. Yeah, because here's your wires right. going to it. So that's got your delay solenoid to give it a good good fire. Let it build up pressure. Right. Now, you said this thing did have power, power to it? Yeah. It was working last week or two weeks ago. You broke it. Yeah, the switch on, the safety switch. No reset. Yeah, there's your reset button. Now this thing does have a circuit board in it. Um, you said we still got your meter. You got your regular meter. Oh. How come they put a little threaded plug on that flap door? Is that so you can put a draft test in there? Yeah. Yeah. You can unscrew that and put your draft gauge in there to check the overfire. Um, and they said you can open up and take a look inside your viewing port. Like I said, if you open that up and flames are pouring out of here, you got a positive draft. Yeah, you never know. Yeah, you do 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 know. Yeah, so quarter inch circuit inch boards driver. up in here. We gotta take this off. We need that quarter inch nut driver. Oh, here it is. In fact, I like that. Okay, so our um, is the burner going now? The pressure in the uh, oil. It is a nice bolt. Oil shut off. Uh, I thought they do it back on. Shut off when I was running it last um, two weeks ago. Why was it okay, coming out so foamy? The full pack. Uh, that might be enough to light it off. Yeah, yeah, now it's that coming that out this way, too. I wouldn't drink that. <laughs> That's not much of a crimp. We'll take that and pour that into that container for later. Yeah, 
All right. Did you fire it up again? He has to hook the, uh, the reset. Oh, it's reset. And he's, he has to hook the fan yeah. motor back up. Doesn't look like much fire. Of it. Out. <laughs> That's where it's maybe drawing the air in. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Hey, um. Sound good? Can I open it? Yeah. There we go. Success. This has been a Stamped Octagon production.